This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. What's going on guys? I'm Mark Linsanga from Techno Buffalo and today we have this bad boy right here, the LG G Watch, and we're here to show you what Android Wear is all about and how it can compete with other smartwatches in the market right now. So let's get on with the video. Android Wear is Google's new wearable platform that sort of acts like a companion to your Android smartphone, feeding you notifications and other important information that you can view at a glance. On devices like the G Watch, it conveniently serves as a second screen for your smartphone, funneling simple smartphone tasks straight to your wrist, stuff like reading incoming texts, sending an email, setting a reminder, checking on traffic or the forecast, and many, many more. You do, however, need to be running Android 4.3 and higher to pair your Android phone, so you better get those updates rolling. Probably Android Wear's biggest feature is the ability to respond to texts, emails, and messages with just your voice, along with deeper Google Now integration, which helps separating it from competing devices. Using just your voice, you can say, okay, Google, and ask simple questions like, where's the nearest post office? You can also control your music playback right from your watch, check your how many steps you've taken, check the weather, and more without ever having to take your phone out of your pocket. When you receive something like a text message, it'll show up right on your wrist, where you then have the freedom to ignore it, reply, or even open it directly on your phone. It's really simple and intuitive, though it does take some time getting used to. As of now, Android Wear also supports a handful of apps like E24, Evernote, and Lyft just to name a few. With Evernote, you can see your to-do list and recent notes and add notes on the go. Google actually has an entire section on its app store dedicated to just Android Wear, and there will surely be many more in the future. Despite robust functionality, Android Wear is still missing a few pieces. For example, when I ask Android Wear, what song is this? Or what's playing? It just defaults to a web search. Let's take a quick break from our Android Wear video and thank our friends at Audible. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and they have hundreds of thousands of books to choose from, whether it's science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, and more. I just started The Golden Finch by Donna Tartt not too long ago and it's so good. I'll listen to it on my iPhone when I'm driving home or when I'm editing videos. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. And again, that's audiblepodcast.com slash techno to get your free download today. I also can't get where to recommend a good place to eat nearby. These things are sure to come soon, whether from Google or a third-party app, or both. But right now, these emissions make Wear feel like it's still not quite fully developed. Google is promising a lot with Android Wear, and even though it's only just released, things are already looking bright. The current crop of smartwatches offer plenty of functionality and are perfect for feeding at a glance notifications. But with Google Now integration and the ability to control experience with your voice, Android Wear has the potential to blossom into a really powerful platform and we can't wait to see how it evolves in the next few months. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe right here. Be the first ones to know whenever new videos get uploaded. We got a ton of stuff. We do phones, tablets, cars, anything that has to do with consumer electronics that has to be plugged in or uses batteries, we review.